Hi, I am Felipe Gorostiaga and I am one of the authors of the paper Nested Monitors, Monitors as Expressions to Build Monitors. In this paper, we propose using a stream random verification language as one of its own data domains, which allows us to write nested specifications that can be executed from an enclosing specification to compute a result. Lola is a stream random verification language based on synchronous streams, which are potentially infinite sequences of values. Monitor data is captured on input streams and output streams are defined over other streams data with a concise syntax. The defining expressions of an output stream can be either the application of a function from a data domain over other expressions or a stream access where v is a stream, j is an integer constant and d is the default value to use when the access refers to an index outside of the trace. When j is 0, we can drop the default value and use v now instead. We consider constants to be a special case of functions, those with energy of 0. One of the foundations of stream random verification is the separation of temporal and data aspects of the language, and the syntax of Lola can be divided in constructs for temporal accesses and constructs for data manipulation. Functions and constants represent the data manipulation aspects of the language while access expressions are used to retrieve the value of a stream specifying an offset with respect to the current time and the default value of the type of the stream being accessed. We have implemented Lola as an embedded domain-specific language in Haskell, which lets us lift the types and functions from the host language and use them off the shelf in our implementation of Lola, which we then deep embed in Haskell letting us focus our efforts on the implementation of the temporal aspects of the engine. Notice that this lifting takes place every time a specification is compiled, so we can plug data types and functions that are defined later on. We have called this implementation hlola. In hlola, we have defined data types to represent specifications and stream definitions, and we have implemented an engine that takes a specification and input streams and produces output streams. As a result, we have effectively incorporated Lola to the data domains of Haskell and we can use the newly defined data types and the engine as a function in a Lola specification. We extend the definition of a, of a specification to include an extra clause that lets us specify a value to return, which is the value of a stream A at the moment a Boolean stream B becomes true or the last value of A if B is always false. We define a function runspec that takes a specification and a set of input streams, executes the engine until b becomes false, and then returns the value of a at that point. The fact that we can manipulate Lola specifications as just another theory of Lola is a direct consequence of the design of H Lola and does not require extending the language. The second contribution of the paper is the addition of a new temporal operator to Lola that allows us to access the following n elements in a stream where n can be different at every instant. We call this the slice operator. A slice is defined following the syntax of Python and Go slices, that is, a slice is represented by the name of its stream, followed by an integer expression enclosed in square brackets and preceded by a column. The type of a slice expression is a list of elements of the type of the access stream, which lets us use slices as input streams for nested specifications. Take for example the streams p and n, and the slice expression that returns a number of values of p according to the current value of m. At the first instance, the value of the slice expression will contain the five characters a, d, d, c, and o. Then it will contain the seven characters g, d, c, w, k, and a. Then the slice will contain the characters d, c, and so on. Suppose we want to write a specification that checks if within the next 50 instants the input streams R and S will cross. We can define an output stream will cross that runs an acid monitor cross spec with two slices that contain the next 50 values of R and S respectively. The nested specification cross spec simply takes the input streams R and S and calculates if the order of R and S is preserved at every instant. As soon as the values of the signal cross over, the monitor returns true, and if the signals maintain their order throughout the whole trace, then the nested specification returns false. 
Note that the input streams R and S in the inner specification are sequences of 50 values each, and they are created and instantiated at every instant of the outermost specification. The engine running the inner specification, however, is unaware of the fact that R and S are, are subsequences of longer streams. This example specification does not use the fact that if two streams will cross in, say, 30 instants, then in the following instant the streams will cross in 29 instants. We can use an alternative specification that uses the rich types of LoLa to count how far in the future the streams will cross and avoid spinning up the nested monitor until a new computation is necessary. In this case, the outermost specification defines an auxiliary stream that counts down the instants until the streams cross and runs the nested monitor only when the counter reaches zero. The nested specification returns an integer value that indicates how far in the future the streams will cross. Lola specifications can be divided into three categories with respect to the resources necessary to monitor them. Very efficiently monitorable specifications comprise those specifications whose output streams only refer to the current or previous values of other streams and, as a result, each instance can be computed as soon as the values of the input streams are received. Efficiently monitorable specifications are those that contain accesses with positive offsets but forbid that a stream depends on future values of itself, either directly or indirectly. These specifications can be monitored with a statically bounded amount of memory, but the computation of the output streams may be delayed with respect to the arrival of input stream values. Lastly, specifications where a stream depends on future values of itself cannot be monitored online in general and make up the last category. The addition of slice expressions extends the expressive power of LoLa and gives rise to a new category of, of specifications, those that are not efficiently monitorable but whose memory consumption at a given instant can be calculated when that instant is reached. We call this new category dynamic bounded lag specifications. A slice expression represents the access to a number of future values of a stream that cannot be bounded a priori in general. However, if streams do not depend on future values of themselves, as soon as the integer expression inside the slice is evaluated, the lag until the slice is filled is known. Striver is a stream runtime verification language inspired by LoLa and based on asynchronous streams, which are potentially infinite sequences of, ti of timestamped values. In Striver, we have to define the values of the output streams, but also the points at which an output stream will produce a value. Just like in LoLa, the separation of data and temporal aspects is a main concern of Striver. We have implemented Striver in Haskell following the spirit of leaf tip embedding of HLOLA, an implementation that we have called HStriver. Once again, this has allowed us to use Striver as a data domain of Haskell and use its engine as a function run spec in a Striver specification. Just like in LoLa, we have extended the definition of a specification to include an extra clause that lets us specify a value to return which is the value of a stream A at the moment a boolean stream B becomes true, with the difference that the value returned will be null if the stream A fails to produce a value before B becomes true or the trace is over. The capabilities of Striver let us define slices using already available constructs. It is not necessary to, to extend the language and we have incorporated slice expressions as syntactic sugar. Striver lets us define sliding windows using its shift operator. We provide a stream constructor slice xyj to define a stream that contains all the timestamped values of x in the range ij plus the last value of x before i, which comes in handy when we interpret events as the changing points of piecewise constant signals. We also introduce syntactic sugar to mimic the slice expressions of Lola, but in this case we also give a beginning for the range. Since the core language remains untouched, the addition of slices expressions and nested monitors does not impact on the specification categories of Striver. However, slices and nested monitors have helped us define certain properties more succinctly, improving their readability. Consider for example the following quantitative semantics of STL. The first three operators are pretty straightforward to define in Striver, 
but the until operator is a bit more convoluted since it uses a nested operation to compute the consecutive minimum values of phi1. We have implemented this quantitative semantics in each driver using a nested specification for the nested operation, which is invoked from the topmost stream definition of the until operator. For the SEL expression x until y within AB, the nested specification, shown on the left, takes the values of x between 0 and b, the values of y between a and b, and computes the minimum between the historical minimum of x within the window with the current value of y. It then returns the maximum of all these successive values. The output stream never is defined to ensure that the nested specification returns the last value of the return stream. The topmost expression, shown on the right, simply sets up the slices to call the nested specification with the appropriate values. We have run several experiments to empirically assess the impact of the extensions both in HLOLA and in HStriver, showing that the memory consumption behaves as predicted in the presence of slices. For example, we have shown that, for constant slice lengths, the memory consumption remains constant throughout the entire execution, as we can see in figure A. We also showed that using slices has a significant impact on the size of a specification compared to unfolding the slice to a sequence of accesses with increasing offsets, which translates into a higher static memory consumption as shown in figure B. In figure C, we show how the memory consumption varies when the nested monitors can solve values without consuming the whole slice. Finally, figure D shows the impact in memory consumption of the event rate of input streams, which make the engine keep more events in memory because more events can fit in every sliding window. In conclusion, we have come up with a new construct and technique for stream ransom verification languages Lola and Striver, we have incorporated them to our implementations and we have analyzed their impact on the languages. As future work, to, we aim to keep working on extensions to Lola and Striver and use each Striver to assess quantitative SCL properties for a powertrain control verification, where input signals are pre-computed from a MATLAB simulation. Thank you for your attention and we are now open for questions.